This is Jordan Vision. Pull up a seat and kick up your feet. Welcome, 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 guys. How are we doing? It is time for another movie reaction, and we're doing something a little bit different, a uh, little bit more romantic, a uh, little unorthodox romance, I guess. Uh, we are going to watch the 1992 movie, The Bodyguard. It came out in 1992. It stars Kevin Costner, and it's the first movie for Whitney Houston. She did, did a few movies after that. Uh, she did, like, uh, Preacher's Wife. She did Waiting to Exhale. Uh, later in her life, she did Sparkle. So Whitney's done a few movies. She's mostly known for a music career, of course, and... Uh, one of her most popular songs actually came from this movie, the Whitney Houston version of I Will Always Love You. So basically what The Bodyguard is about, uh, Whitney Houston plays a pop star uh, who has a stalker, and eventually her manager hires uh, Kevin Costner, who is a former member of the Secret Service, uh, to be her bodyguard. And there's a little bit of, like, odd couple stuff, there's a little bit of, a, you know, differences in philosophy, like uh, he used to guard presidents, and apparently guarding a pop star is not the same thing. So there's some a little bit of clashing, but eventually uh, they do become closer and uh, yada yada yada. So <laughs> that's uh, basically a movie premise right there. The soundtrack did produce a couple of uh, Best Original Song nominees. I Will Always Love You is not one of them because it is not an original song. It was actually written uh, decades before uh, and recorded by Dolly Parton. And a lot of people have, uh, you know, compared the Dolly Parton version and uh, the Whitney Houston version. Like, Dolly's version uh, is a very, you know, tender country love song. Uh, it was Whitney Houston who made it into the power ballad that many people know it as today. Uh, and, you know, I've seen a lot of arguments about who had the better version, but it's just like Dolly Parton made a great Dolly Parton song and Whitney Houston made it into a great Whitney Houston song. So they're kind of different songs, even though they're the same song. So let's let's not fight over it. <laughs> so as I mentioned, it, it is not a uh, Best Original Song nominee because it was not an original song. Uh, the two that were nominated for Best Original Song are I Have Nothing and Run To You. But of course, uh, Aladdin had to come out the same year. So the uh, Best Original Song winner that year was A Whole New World. So the movie is famous for its music. I think it's famous. Uh, there's one famous scene that I can think of as well off the top of my head. Uh, but uh, at, as a movie, it kind of got mixed reviews. But uh, I'm curious. So uh, I want to watch The Bodyguard. So without further ado, let's watch The Bodyguard. Before I get started, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And don't forget, reacting to art is sharing art. Channels like these benefit everyone from the viewers all the way up to the original creators themselves. Also, reminder, spoilers are likely. So if you haven't seen this movie yet and would like to, please feel free to click off and take care of that first. I'll be here when you get back. But for those of you who are sticking with me, pull up a seat, kick up your feet. This is The Bodyguard. Let's hope I will always love this movie. <laughs> all right, here we go. Am I supposed to be hearing sound right now? Where is it? I did my sound checks before I started, so hopefully this is by design. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. Stay down. Just stay down. Oh, what's going on? I guess this is his Secret Service days. It's Frey! It's Frey. I don't know if they're going to portray a real president or... It's usually a fictional president in these kind of movies, but... But, uh, yeah, I guess something just went down. Your hands ever shake, Frey. Sometimes. They were shaking pretty good in that last scene. How did you know? I saw him washing the car. So did I. They don't yeah. wash cars on the parking levels. These guys think of everything. I'd like you to stay on. I'm no good in a permanent position. My, my feet go to sleep. Aw. Looks like that was his last big score, I guess. So it wasn't like a fired in disgrace store or anything like that. It's just, uh, just kind of felt his body giving out. Mm -hmm. I imagine there's a lot of single people in the Secret Service. Like, <laughs> oh, and now we get to the other character. That doll did not look like her. Oh, hello. You're turning down two thousand bucks a week. <laughs> it's so the work. You won't protect Rachel Mirren just because she's in show business. Okay, so he's got the job offer already. Have you talked to Racine, Fitzgerald, Portman? Yeah, Portman. Natalie Portman? Portman, hmm. we're talking about a very frightened little lady with an eight-year-old son. Yeah, I'd be frightened if I that happened too. Farmer, she begged me to get you. I actually know who someone in the Secret Service is. Are their names even public? You must be very deadly. For three grand a week. Watch and see. Well, we're about to see a trick, aren't we? Mm. Shit. Not on that throw. Hey! Whoa! Sorry. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Better not stand there either. Oh, jeez. 
I mean, I can at least throw it in the right direction. Movie's moving fast. We've already gone through the whole Secret Service part in a couple of minutes. We've gone through the uh, pop star Obama being afraid in a few Marin. minutes, and yeah. Alexander Graham Bell to see Miss Marin. Oh, code name maybe. The atomic number of zinc is 30. <laughs> I'll take your word for it on what the atomic number is. Ooh, nice pool. Oh, yeah. A little injured from the blast, I guess. Here I come to save the day. My name's Edison. I have an appointment with Miss Marin. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And that was arranged by, uh... Mr. Devaney. Yeah. What happened to your arm? They gotta be careful, eh? A doll. A doll, yeah. <laughs> yes. Henry Ford to see Mr. Devaney. How many code names do you have? And how does he know to use the right one at which time? You know, for a rehearsal on a soundstage, it's going pretty hard. Like all the props and got the smoke moving and. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait till she's done to meet her, I guess. Just walk into the madhouse in the meantime. That's what I want. Rory, you kicked me. Rachel. pretty good. Tony! Huh? Did you love it? I bet you loved it. <laughs> what do you think, Rachel? <laughs> <doesn't know her. laughs> Rachel. Tony was impressed. <laughs> Frank Farmer's here. Who's here? Frank Farmer, yeah, like bodyguard. I think Rory should be my bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> was Rory in the Secret Service, too? Yeah. Frank Farmer? Sizing each other up. Oh, you don't look like a bodyguard. What'd you expect? Uh -huh. Well, I don't know. Maybe a tough guy? Arnold Schwarzenegger, maybe? He's got a six-pack under there, trust me. Listen, this whole thing is Bill's idea. A sudden obsession with protecting me. Come on, baby, get out. Yeah, no after a bomb. Guy. I'm willing to go along with this thing as long as we all understand each other. I'm not going to let this thing alter my life one little bit. Honey, that's not going to be a problem. Yeah, just wants a little protection. I think I'm safe when I'm here at the house. So I guess the main thing will be is when I go Let's hope none of those dolls show up here. There's been a mistake, a mis misunderstanding, so if you'll show me the quickest way out, I'll save us uh, a lot of trouble. He doesn't want to do it now. Mama, would you wait a minute? Bella, I don't think we should be begging this guy for services. Bye, I'm having this. Are you going to find anybody else in the Secret Service that would do this? If you come this far, would you just wait here for one minute? I want to show you something. Does he know what happened about the bombing and stuff? Oh, this might be your kid. I bet this is what sways him. Protecting a diva pop star is one thing, but, you know, when you get a kid involved... Do you like boats? Uh... No, sure. I don't like boats. Hey. Why not? I'll tell you, one time I was, uh... I was stuck on a boat with some people for four months. A lifeboat? Oh. No, it was, a uh, It was a big white yacht. Ah, the president's yacht. Well, the president spends, you like, know, four months on a yacht, though. Oh, this these are all the fan letters, yeah. Have you ever tried having these professionally assessed? Handwriting analysis, something like that? I was two years with Carter, four with Reagan. Reagan got shot. I hope that was his day off. Not on my ship. Yeah. You think it could be the same guy? The one who rigged it all? Would you tell Miss Marin about it? Yeah, I imagine very few of these actually get through to her. I mean, she doesn't need this kind of worry right now. I mean, this would really upset her. About the police. I mean, if you tell her the truth, she might realize she needs a bodyguard. Si, I think we should show him the room. There's a room. Yep. This is the song I have nothing. Is this her bedroom? Yeah. It's a pretty swanky bedroom. She sleeps in a room next to Fletcher's down the hall. So it's like a fake for show bedroom. Someone was in here. Somebody. Oh yeah. And masturbated on the bed. Yikes! Good thing it wasn't the real bed. Someone penetrates the house, gets upstairs, jerks off on the bed, I'd say, uh, I'd say that qualifies as a problem. It's a tiny one. I won't be responsible for her safety if she doesn't understand what's going on. I'll talk to her. Yeah. I'll make her understand. Bill. That's what I said. Tell her the truth. She's just looking out like, have they gotten rid of this guy yet? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not gonna hold it like her. <laughs> I don't wanna hurt anymore. 
Oh, cutting up the tabloids. It's Oscar time again, and this year the smart money's on Rachel Marin for best actress. So I have nothing is a movie that fake Whitney was in. Oh, here we go. Yeah, who is this person? Probably gonna take the whole movie to figure it out, but yeah. They were probably hoping this would be an Oscar vehicle for Whitney too, but didn't quite work out that way. Why'd you say your name was Edison? I wanted to see how difficult it was to get in. Ah, that's why. That's why I used different names. No. What if they actually had competent okay. security and they kicked him out? <laughs> We're adding to your duties. Oh. Huh? We're Promotion. To your duties. You're my new assistant. No matter how incompetent the assassins, no matter how much they miss their target, there's one person who always gets hit. So he's the designated bullet guy, I guess. There's trees here. I want them cut right. back. So the lights can shine onto the property. Right. Yeah, trees are pretty, but they can be. Better doors than windows, I guess. Hey, what you looking at? Frank? The fence is gonna come in all around this particular area. She's just like, he's still here. Oh yeah, it's testing everything out. Power. And stop. Okay. A little bit of an action movie tutorial. Oh. Oh, old dog. Come here, buddy. Oh, doesn't want to get up. So. That's a lazy dog right there. For a guard dog, but it's effective. It's probably not an effective guard dog, but you know. Nice little loyal pooch. My own ego wall, no platinum records. Yeah. I imagine hers is smaller than uh, Rachel's is. When I was a kid, I put together this little band and used to play high school dances and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then Rachel joined the act, and as you can imagine, she was quite a little entertainer. Just a little, eh? It was pretty obvious who the star in our family was. A, lot of work. a little bit of sibling envy, but a lot of that's work. how it is sometimes. I mean, this I have nothing thing is a natural, considering the record and the movie and all that. Yeah, I would imagine, yeah. These crazy people like to incorporate, so you know, titles and stuff into it. It is. It's big money, right? You wouldn't want this job, right? Probably not as big as guarding the president, but... You can see the scumbag that we're covering now. A walking schlong senator who shall, of course, remain nameless. Oh. Hellfire Henry Kinch. Somebody wants to pop I guess, Yeah, I guess the Secret Service isn't just about the president. Candidates and, you know, really important people. Politics and showbiz is the same thing these days. <laughs> More than you know today. There she is. Can I have oh. an autograph? No, hon. Sure you can. Well, your greatest fans, do you mind if we get a picture? Don't actress. treat a little kid like a threat. You've seen all your movies. I mean, they could take a good one. <laughs> I mean, you can allow certain things. Just watch out for the crazies. I'm surprised you didn't plug them. <laughs> yeah, you got told. Listen, you guys, help me with this stuff, okay? Hey, you're saying some... And yeah, this is her version of I'm Every Woman, which is originally a Shaka Khan song, I believe. I'm not some hired fucking gun who's here to make her life miserable. I do things the way she likes. And how's that working for you? Her dressing room got bombed. Is that him? What's going on? Shortcut. Could be someone. Yeah, this guy's definitely trouble. Yeah, you've been spotted, buddy. Oh. I hope his stuntman got millions. Uh, got away, but didn't get close to the star. <laughs> That's pissing her off now. Shut up! Shut up! Why is my house under construction? He's through messing with my life, Bill. Rachel, I'm getting goddamn sick of running up here every time he steps on your toes. Just a little inconvenience while he makes your house safe. You know who couldn't get past the gates yesterday? Who? Robin Leach. Is that who that was? The man speaks to 20 million people and he can't even get in here. Did he have an appointment? Former one every Why was he speeding out of there then? The man's a fanatic. So are the guys he's protecting you from. But well, then think about your son. What about Fred? I'm not listening, la la la. I want some fingers and ears. Here. And I want to be able to eat brunch with my friends. So go on Tuesdays. <laughs> Tuesday morning brunch. <laughs> Where'd you get this guy, Bill? What's wrong with Tuesday morning? Look, I'll never understand divas. Uh, yeah. Hey, farmer. You want to come in here with me? Just to be safe? <laughs> You're playing with this guy's mind, man. You probably won't believe this. 
But I have a reputation for being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Most stars have a reputation for that, whether it's true or not. Oh, so you don't think so? Well, you're such an expert on famous people, huh? I've seen a few. Yeah. Do you disagree? He's seen a few different kinds of famous people. You don't approve of me, do you? Hmm. In what way? Disapproval is a luxury I can't afford. Oh, it gets in the way, right? Don't like your emotions getting to you? Yeah, you don't want to be protecting someone that, you know, you'd like to see die. <laughs> in a general sense. Jacket for me, the red one, please. I'm here to keep you alive, not help you shop. Yeah, read the job description. I know that when you look at me. You see so much of Whitney's character acting so divish, and then you see that angelic video, and it's like, it almost is like two different people. I'm sure the real Whitney was like that too. Like, she had her problems. Keep me safe from harm. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's telling him, don't keep me safe from harm. You to hold a little still. Well, what exactly am I looking for? A bomb. How does he know what a bomb looks like? Yeah. You know, you see movies and you think you know what a bomb looks like, but they can be rigged to look like anything. Case in point, a doll. Are we going somewhere else? The mine. What's the mine? It's a club, Frank. Oh. Inspector, you have to tell me about these things. Oh, I just did. <laughs> Probably hasn't been to one of those clubs before. I want you to keep this. It's oh. Beautiful. It's fitted with a radio transmitter when you when you close the clasp, oh. it sends a signal. I'm gonna guess that's gonna come into play at some point. Get inside, the show's inside. <laughs> Henry, just keep the car moving. You think like the average person who lives in Hollywood. We'd get used to seeing stars, like, all the time. Hey! How you doing up there? Do you, like, schedule your mobs? She normally doesn't do this kind of place. He thinks it'll be good for the video. Okay. So we're talking video shoot here. Oh. Well, she saw that letter. You have everything, I have nothing. Prepare your soul for death. Time to die is upon another you. another one. What do you mean, another one? Yeah, she doesn't know about the others. This is the first one she's actually seen. There were some letters before, Rachel. Same kind of thing. Threats, oddball stuff. We, we didn't want to worry you, sweetheart. And somebody got into the house. Someone was in my house? Hey, See? Like, Should have told her the yeah, truth from the start. There's no way anyone could... Just, just wait. No Rachel, way Rachel, anyone Rachel, could... Calm down. Everybody calm. The letter just got in there you, somehow. Okay? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you gotta lock that door. He might be. We don't know. Frank, we don't know that. But you know he was in my house, Cy. Let's go home, Cy. Yeah, they gotta cancel this. Fine, One bad apple's gotta disappoint this big crowd. I mean, if they knew what was really going on, they wouldn't be booing. It's not worth it. My fucking freak is gonna run me off stage. Oh, she doesn't want to cancel. They're uncanceling the cancellation. <laughs> yep. We do a little fake cancellation before the show just to rile everybody up. I hope she won't mind at the end. All right. I love that costume. I don't think I've heard this song. It's a different Whitney sound. Look, Frank, I know what you're saying, all right? You got a job to do here. But you got to understand that Rachel has a job to do, too. If she doesn't get out there, she's dead. You know, forget <laughs> the crazy death threat. Well, she, she might be dead either way if this weirdo is here. Handled properly, this whole thing could be good for a million dollars worth of free publicity. One word. Yeah, well, it could One word. You the One word is about this. Yeah, about anything. Anything. yeah, you've been told. It must be so stressful, like, trying to keep a star safe when these crowds are everywhere. Like, even without death threats, like... Does she know that guy? Does she care? <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this is not going according to plan. Oh, just keep her afloat. Alright. 
Oh. What sucks about this is there's probably, like, innocent people getting hit, too, that are just in the wrong place at the wrong time, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Continuation of that thought. Keep driving, Henry. As disappointed as the crowd would have been, it probably would have been just better to cancel. You know, stuff happens when people are on edge. Must be hard to clean these places up to after. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Does it look like our man was here? Yeah. This probably isn't in the job description either, but yeah. Does anyone eat their apples like that? Just like cut slices off and eat them one by one, you know? Scientific poll. Oh, it's not an apple, it's a peach. What is going on here? Was that a test or something? I don't think they break a lot of dishes for a test. Although, some people roll like that, I guess. I'll be thinking, hey, she's a big star, we can afford it. I mean, he's just taking this too casually for it to be real. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this again. Okay, I guess we're done. Alright, got everything working? Bet you're wondering what I'm doing, right? Looks pretty straightforward to me. You afraid I might get picked off in my snazzy running suit? No, I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to jog with you. <laughs> Legitimate fear, I guess. I'm really glad you're here. And I'm going to try to cooperate. I mean, she found out about all the crazy shit, so I guess she's got a new perspective. I like to go out for an evening, you know, with a guy. Probably don't want you hanging around on that. I mean, what if he wants to invite me up to his place afterwards? Are you gonna come too? Yeah, that, that's a tough one. The only thing I can figure is for you to take me out. Well. Wow. Um, tell her I call her back, sweetheart. I'm getting fixed up here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think like that, your options are kind of limited, but... I mean, if you actually like the dude. At the car wash, yeah. Oh, what's going on? I recognize those hands. Okay. I think this is our man. I don't think we saw his face before, but yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hide that locker. You're watching a movie now? Let me know if I should find out what this movie is and then react to it. How many times have you seen that movie? 62 times. 62. 62. <laughs> Looks like a pretty old movie. Okay. Your kind of place? Can't drink on yeah. duty. Your kind of music? Absolutely. Yeah, he's a country dude. If someone's willing to swap his life for a kill, and nothing can stop him, Rachel. Might get Some people will do that. You want someone dead, you'll be dead you yourself if that's what it takes. Well, maybe there's some glory in saving a president or somebody, but just anybody. I mean, like you. I mean, you're not a just anybody either. So have you ever liked anybody? Yeah, have you? What happened? Do you mind if I ask? Do you mind if I don't answer? Yeah, he doesn't want to talk about it. I don't want to pry. Boy, <laughs> I can see that. Sounds like you're prying to me. She didn't die, did she? <laughs> While you were protecting her, she got killed, right? <laughs> oh, I really hope not. The way she's laughing. Oh. No. Oh, maybe not. Nice try, though. <laughs> he was pulling one on her. She didn't love me anymore. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can I imagine that? I mean, kinda. <laughs> I'm just asking you to dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's part of the duty, Frank. Okay. This is the song. But who's singing it? That's not Dolly Parton either, obviously. Is it just some dude in the bar? This is kind of cowboy song, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So they're acknowledging the song exists. 
And then I guess it ends up being her big cover. I mean, it's so depressing. Have you listened to the words? It kind of is that kind of song. Like, Dolly Parton actually wrote it about severing a business partnership with someone she really cared about, you know? Ooh, hey, what's going on? Maybe you're just a little jumpy. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Who's the bodyguard now? <laughs> Aww. They are connecting. I thought it was gonna be a tough sell, but you know, at least they're kind of cute together. West Virginia University football. Oh, he was a football player. God, take a look at you. I think Costner played football too. Maybe that was a real old photo, I don't know. So you were in the Secret Service. What made you get out? Money. I imagine those guys are like sorely underpaid. Oh, he's got a samurai sword? I mean, judging by the movie they watched together, like, you know, I imagine he has that kind of taste. Oh. Careful. You can tell when you've someone's never like waved one of those things around, it's like. Ooh, careful. Keep your distance, girl. Bodyguard must know very little peace. Yeah, probably. Especially when you're in the Secret Service, you get used to basically not having a personality. <laughs> Watch this. Oh. Magic trick? Oh, wow. Sword's that sharp, eh? Yeah. I keep expecting I Will Always Love You to, like, play over the kissing scene, but it's like, her version of the song doesn't exist yet in this movie's universe. It feels wrong, but it kind of feels right, too. I've never felt this safe before. Yeah. Have you ever dated a bodyguard before? <laughs> yeah, I guess the sword's just hanging out there, just in case. Well, morning after, he's still there. <laughs> doesn't have a choice, but he is. Rachel, I don't want to get confused about what I'm doing here. I'm not confused. You pay me to protect you, that's what I do. <laughs> have I done something wrong? Not really, yeah, but yeah. He's having mixed feelings now. He's just feeling like he can't let this get too far right now. I want to keep it straight in my head what job I'm doing. And what is that exactly? Making me feel like shit? No. I'm sorry, this is my fault. Kind of broke a personal so policy there. Well, I don't believe it! Well, you can live with it or you can fire me. But I can't fuck you. What's it gonna be, girl? I mean, it's probably not the right time to fire your bodyguard, you know, whether you're involved with him or not. But yeah. She told me she doesn't understand why you're being so shitty to her. I don't like it when you use language. She told like her kid that? I spent a lot of time learning not to react to things like other people do. It's my job. It doesn't always work. It's hard when you have a job like that. I'm an old man compared to you, pal, and I don't understand either. He's an old man compared to a lot of people now. Ta da! Oh, puppy! Thought she'd like to know. Everyone said she was a sure thing. Yep. Nominated for the Oscar in this universe. <laughs> Anyone recognize any of those other four? Probably just stock photos. It's all... We will give two AIDS charity concerts at the glamorous Fontainebleau Hilton. A thousand a plate, no less. And it's a brave man who denied a lovely lady was worth every cent. That's going to be another big crowd, I think. And, you know, I think she'll probably regret alienating her bodyguard. Security requests updated lists of all ticket holders for Rachel Marin concerts. Please fax copies of any names we were added to the list. I mean, this is nothing new, right? Like, people buy tickets, are usually on a list, right? I'm sure, like, Ticketmaster has a paper trail. It's probably different in 1992, but... Showtime, everybody. Is this really necessary? Yes, it is. Let's go. Quit bitching, Farmer. This is the part you do get paid for. Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, he's still employed, but still kind of a lover spat. And everything Man. that you do... I would have loved to have seen Whitney live someday. It's a shame it never happened. For myself. There's nowhere to hide. I'm just enthralled right now. Just watching her as an actress for most of the past hour and a half or so, but when I watch her sing, I'm stunned. Oh, the key change. And the fireworks. I hope they're not rigged. 
alcohol. And like the lounge penis is like playing along with it. <laughs> Hello, Frank. Oh, you know each other? Portman. Oh, that's Portman. Is the president here? Off duty, but the governor might show up here later. Oh, the governor might show up later. Well, I'd call that a step up from the president. Probably sings better too. <laughs> I'd love to hear a president sing someday. I bet you Clinton was a good singer. Maybe Obama too. Maybe Bush could have done some country. Oh, the juice tastes funny. That's a red flag. We used to work together. Oh, well, well. I'm still thinking about that OJ. So are you working now? Not right now. Oh. She's hitting on Portman to make him jealous. Yeah, keep an eye on those two. He's gonna taste it, and he's gonna think it tastes funny too. I've been watching you all night from across the room. Oh, you can't get distracted now. Once you go back there, keep watching. Oh, shot down. Oh. They have nothing in common, too. It's just a... Just a little revenge tryst. No. Oh. She's no, saying no now. Uh, now she's having second thoughts. No. Hey, oh. Oh, Portman's a creep. No. Please go now. All right. Tell yes, me. right now. Mr. Portman was just leading us. Yeah, get Portman out of there. Doesn't matter how much he was enjoying it before. Once she says no, it's a no. She's alone in the room now, that could be bad. Maybe someone else sneaks in and Frank's not there. What are you looking at? <laughs> the person I'm guarding? You probably never had a heavy night in your whole damn disciplined life. You know, someone who guarded the president, yeah. And don't laugh at me. Don't you dare judge me. Oh, him. give me a break, will you? I, mean, I didn't tell you to fuck everybody in the hotel. It wasn't everybody, it was just one horny Secret Service guy. Industrial detergent, Frank. It matches the traces in the glue. We're getting to it. We're gonna oh. nail this sucker. A little chemical it's analysis. Fun. As mad as she is, she can't forget that this guy is still out there. Oh, what's going on? Where is she? I don't know. Where's Tony? Will she run away? I don't know. Oh, I hope she's got that uh, necklace thingy. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, she's back. Rachel, where in the hell have you been? What's about Hartman? Did a little shopping. Without your bodyguard? You had us worried. You know you're not supposed to do that. Bill, I'll do what I want, when I want. Guess she yes. thinks Tony did the job. One more time and I'm gone. You remember something, Farmer. You work here. You work for me. Rachel, where are you going, Farmer? I'm yeah, don't piss him off. Oh, huh? can't serve that food now. What are you doing? It's none of your fucking business. Oh, you messed with the wrong guy. How did the wall get that bloody that soon? Please don't burn my husband. It all up to nothing. Yeah, probably took it too far there. I don't even know what brought that on. <laughs> Hello. Mommy? Fletcher, baby. Mommy. You? No. That doesn't sound like Fletcher. No. Yeah, the creep got her number. I'm through, Bill. What? I said I'm through. I'll get you back to LA and that's it. The guy with Fletcher can cover you till you get a replacement. She got a call while you were downstairs. She thought it was Fletcher calling from LA. I mean, I heard the voice and I didn't think it was Fletcher, but yeah, I understand. Call me when she's ready to go down. Frank! That's what happens, he just let himself get too involved. Yeah, I thought the romance part of the movie kind of showed up a little quick, but then it was like the regret of the romance. I understand now. And you're gonna have to believe me because I'm not going to beg. Frank, I need you. I'm afraid. Yeah, now she gets I it. I can't protect you like this. It's, uh... His... It's impossible. The odds are all on his side. I mean, I you're making headway. You're finding all the chemicals and stuff. I'd want to take you away from here for a while. All right, I can do that. You cancel your big benefit concert? Is that what she's willing to do? You cross me up this time, Rachel. I swear I'll kill you myself. You know, if the bodyguard kills you, who protects you from him? A little 
Rocky Mountain vacation? Looks like Canada. Arf. I love that subtitle, it just says Arf. Yeah. Probably never been to a place like this before, have you? Hey, <laughs> he likes you, Fletcher. So is that gonna protect us? Yeah, he's a he's a trained noise maker. Not the dog. <laughs> I don't like big dogs. They don't know who they're eating. Oh, and this one does. Yeah, this one does. This one does. <laughs> oh, hey. Protect her from the dog. Catherine had this place organized just the way she wanted it. That's Frank's mama. Oh, yeah. Taking the kid out on the boat. You know, Fletcher can't swim very well. Uh, I guess you better stay in the boat then. Yeah. <laughs> No swimming, especially in this kind of weather. You must be very successful if you need someone like Frank. <laughs> Just a little. Just a little old Oscar nominee right here. Frank wasn't there the day Reagan was shot. He's never gotten over it. Yeah. That's, um... Yeah, I mean, Reagan was his client. And, yeah. Oh. He was away for his mom's funeral. That's got to mess with your mind in a whole bunch of ways. Christ, I'm going to tell about the time you stripped in court. You did what in court? <laughs> he starts playing tackle football when he's 10 years old. And one day he comes to me and he says, he's afraid of being hit. He says, it's my fault. How come you never hit me? He says, always I right. guess you can hit him if you're playing football. But... I won't talk about the time you were 13. You first found out about girls. How about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you just did. Oh, dusty chess pieces. Frank, you can run, but you can't hide. Probably hasn't played chess in years. Don't touch that. You know you're white. It's your move. It's my move? You're sure? The last move I took your rook with my bishop right there. Oh, it's like a continuation of a game. I wonder how long it's been sitting stagnant like that. Like that. How long has this been going on? Three years. Hmm. First year, he really had me on the run. So they keep pausing it and continuing it for three years? King oh. City kid. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Son, you come here and sit with me. <laughs> yeah, who are you helping? Well, that's it for me, guys. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. You're in trouble. <laughs> Guess the game is paused again. It's good to hear you laugh. <laughs> Probably don't get to see that side of him very often. What's happening with you and Rachel? What isn't happening with oh, you and Rachel? I mean, she has magnetic hands and it makes she hates you. And I don't know what's going on right now. You follow all our moves this closely? Maybe you're the stalker, I don't know. You must think my life's pretty sickly, don't you? No. You must. I do. Well, why don't you change it, Nikki? Go chase some of your own dreams. Oh. Hello. I wasn't expecting that. I'm surprised, thorough fellow like yourself. Why stop at one sister when you could have fucked them both? He learns from his mistakes. I mean, dating the sister is probably not the same thing as dating the client herself, but probably just as conflict of interest -y. Oh, She can sing too. Has she ever heard her sister sing? She's hearing it now and she loves it. Oh right, they were in a band together, so it's it's probably been years. Uh, come on, let her be a backup singer or something. Or at least get her a record deal of, your, of her own. Wait, those are not deer prints. Hey. Yeah, who are you going with, buddy? Oh. Did you take the boat yourself? Oh. Oh, I thought someone was kidnapping him, but yeah, he just took the boat himself for a little spin. I mean, you probably could have caught the boat without knocking him out of it, but as long as you save him, that's, what's ma that's what matters. What are you doing? Frank, you're crazy! You're out of your mind! You could have drowned him, Frank! Just another thing for her to be mad about. 
How are we gonna get the boat back? Ah! Well, I guess you're not getting that boat back. Knocked him in the water, but as it turns out, probably saved his life. Both the cars are dead, and I can't see how it was done. Yeah, no big surveillance cameras up here. Oh no, this place has nothing to do with her. Maybe it's got something to do with you. Yeah, did someone track him too? Yeah, walk out of Let's button down tonight. We'll walk out at first light. I mean, I hope it's safe to stay there for one more night, but I love the way the movie, this movie keeps you in suspense. Like, I'm expecting this big romantic movie, but, you know, like, so much stuff happens and you just don't know where it all comes from. I was an idiot last night. Just a little. So, what'd you think about today? Asking that question like it's, you know, amazing. how was the park today? <laughs> Tell me about it. Who is it, Nikki? <laughs> Just, How do we stop him? He only got that bitch. Does who Nikki know who it is? Who is it? He doesn't even know who hired him. <laughs> I don't know who he is. He doesn't know who I am. Right. Wait, you... Nikki's in on this? So it's an ongoing job. What's the name of the bar? I'm not sure. How I was very the... stoned. You must have been stoned if you agreed to something like that. This is getting way too weird. Now, is the person who's doing this gonna agree to stop it? Oh. So what if we can't find this stuff? What's the dog growling at? Are they in here? What's happening? Stay with Rachel! Where's Nikki? No, no, stop! Run away Oh! They killed Nikki. Oh man, this movie. It's like being there. Did they get out? Yep, yeah, I hear footsteps. Aw, oh, you gotta get him if you're shooting. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, Frank. What do you mean? Got away. We already got him. What do you mean? We already we got, got him. him. Where? Here, last night in LA. You should see this guy's locker. So that's not you the guy with the locker? So there's more than one. It's you that sent him the letters. Okay, we don't need you to admit it. We know. No. We... Well, or maybe this guy's a red herring. Stringent security. Yeah. Of the funeral in Beverly Hills today of music executive Nikki Marin. It's not known if Miss Marin will now be attending the audience. Can you do it remotely? Whew. All of a sudden, I'm getting chills. Just got a little too real. Like. At the time she got shot, it's like, action's still going, so it's like, you don't have time to be shocked, but now with this scene, it's like, now it's really hitting. You okay, Frank? Oh. Yeah, that's right, I'm okay. The kid's I'm checking up on him, that's, uh, that's amazing. I couldn't sleep. I don't blame you, kid. It was so scary just thinking about it. Is it the man who killed Nikki? Are you afraid of him? Then what? The kid needs an answer right now. Like, he's got to be terrified. I'm afraid of not being there. Yeah. Hard-hitting scene. They're trying to be low-key, like, right after the funeral, but, you know, kid's still got to have his fun. It isn't over yet, is it? I mean, the guy got away, so no. So he'll come again. Possible. At the Oscars? I would think they have massive security there. You know, when I was back in Squirrel Hill, I started betting my friends 50 bucks each that someday I'd win an Oscar. Could add up to a lot of money. <laughs> she put a bet on it, too. Not that she's not rich already. I mean, I didn't get to this place in my life by doing the smart thing every time. How about you, Frank Farmer? I mean, he's a bodyguard, so he probably doesn't do the smart thing for himself every time either. No, it's not your fault. And I hope you can hear me because this is the way I say I'm sorry. She gets it now. I'm going to the Oscars and see if I win. I mean, you just hope you can keep the bad guy out, but yeah. If worse comes to worse. And yeah. Falling for each other again. And here we are.
<laughs> oh, these generic names. Ben Glass sounds like Jan Brady dreamed up another imaginary boyfriend. You know, I wish you guys would relax a little bit. Nothing bad's gonna happen out there. All right? Famous last words. Unless I lose the fucking award. <laughs> I hope that's the worst thing that happens to you. If, if that's what happens. I mean, if you lose, you'll have the same amount of Oscar wins as me, so... Yep, who's this guy? <laughs> Trying to figure out who Frank is. So, you're the queen of the night, how about being the queen of this night? Let's hope I'm the queen of this night. Well, good luck in nah. there. Good luck, girl. And the award for best achievement in sound goes to... K. Colvin and Michael Smith for Hot and Cold! Hooray for Hot and Cold. I'm, I'm sure it had good sound, you know. The sound of things melting and freezing. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. You look beautiful. I just need to fill you in on some of your responsibilities. All right, Skip. Okay, responsibilities? Right sound, then another song, then you, at precisely 8.07... Oh, yeah, she's got to be performing, right? Rachel, I understand it's my great honor to escort you on stage tonight. Yeah, that's right, Clive. And I don't like it one bit that you look skinny. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him. And Q Robert. All right, we're back. And into Robert's monologue. Stand by dancers. Cool that you can hear the stage directions. Did you ever see a woman who worked on sound that looked like that? I know. She must have been the boom girl, huh? If that was a real actor, he'd probably be canceled by now. Probably not for that, but you know, he's probably got some thoughts in his head. How you doing? What are you doing here? The job. Who? Stand by, dancer. Him? 15 seconds. Short term gig, but uh, profitable. Q music. Uh. And Q dance. Don't tell me he's the guy. Back to work. I'll probably see you at the governor's ball. <laughs> Did X Seeker Service still get invited to those things? I guess. Now I want that broad run out of town. <laughs> he's gotta go. <laughs> Tony, you there? Tony, Why is someone else singing it? The night. Now listen to me. I hey, need hey, you to help me, me tonight. I can't use that thing back here. The breakthrough is killing our radio mics. I'm gonna have to disconnect you, I'm sorry. It's a little important, bud. We'll get it back right after the show, I'm sorry. Aw. Oh. Like, that's the last thing you can confiscate. Is this is necessary. Must we have everyone? We have our own man at the door. Rachel, please. No. I want him. Try to fire a personal bodyguard. You'd think her sister just got shot with her in the building, like... You'd think they'd be okay with extra security. Stand by spot. Watch your step going down, somebody spilled some water. Oh. oh she's holding the jewel. Send the award for best song. Ten seconds. Hollywood's newest royal couple. He is England's knight in shining armor. She is America's queen of the night. Yeah, they're not a couple. <laughs> Watch out for that spilled water. Well, Rachel, I know that you only came tonight to present this award, and you'll want to leave as soon as we're done. <laughs> oh. Oh, she sees something. No, Clive. I'm very interested in one of the awards that's coming up tonight. Best Actor. Oh, Is he nominated? She's just so distracted. And no matter what anyone thinks, I know you have no personal favorites. Yeah. <laughs> Jumped her line. Nominees. What? There's a letter in the envelope. The winner is I Have Nothing from Queen of the Night. Music An Oscar winning song in the movie, but just nominated in real okay, life. Hey, I'm fine. Oh, I always said she was nuts. I'm okay, all right? I'm sure. Farmer, you made me into a raving lunatic. God's what did you want him to do? Fucking actresses. Where's Portman? Who? Five, Portman. Four, Never heard of him. So Portman's not there to guard him. Portman is the dude. Rachel, I know who it is. You, you just shut, shut up! Here you crazy. Crazy. Well, you shut up! You've embarrassed me in front of bands of people and you won't quit! This is when you really have to listen, girl. Hey, what are you... After tonight, you're back in charge. What? See, even Tony doesn't want that job back. You see those people standing there? They don't need to be there, all right? You see the guy with the camera? He doesn't need to be all right, there. All right, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Okay. Rachel Marin for Queen of the Night. He's got the camera. Tony! Tony. Doesn't have his radio. Hey, I say you. you. Oh. Rachel Marin, Queen of the Night. 
what should be a triumphant moment, but I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm getting chills right now. Oh, oh, he's got a sharpshooter on the thing. Nobody notices that red light? Like, even the viewers are probably going, what the hell's that light? Oh, you were giving yourself too big a target, girl. Oh, wow. Man, if this happened in real life, this would, like, break Hollywood. Yeah, Frank got hit, I think. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Well, you got him. No, she's fine. Aw, oh, don't do this to me, movie. Aw. Oh, the blood on the envelope. Should have been the best moment of her life, man. And that's other guy. I guess he was just an innocent bystander, just a harmless creep. You know, a little obsessed, but wasn't the real danger. Hey! Okay. Well, I guess he made it. It won't be the same without you. Hi, Frank! How you doing, Fledge? Aww. Uh, yeah, I thought he just got hit in the shoulder, like it wasn't like a fatal wound or anything like that, but... You still wonder. So you're putting show business, huh? Yeah. Too bad. You had talent. Oh. <laughs> Probably had the most watched camera time in TV history right there. So how's the new guy? He's got white hair, Frank. <laughs> yeah, not her type. He's very good. Yeah, but did you have to get me an old man? I don't trust you. <laughs> yeah, I probably did. And there it is. So I go. You okay? Yeah. But I know. Okay is a very relative word. Wait. Oh. And Go get him. Love you. Love Professional relationship dissolved. My darling you. Yeah, it's become their song. We both, we both know, know I'm not, I'm what, not you what you need. Just mesmerized watching her sing. Where are we now? Oh, is this the Let's governor's ball? Amen. Mm -hmm. We'll always love you. That's our movie, folks. And that's our show-stopping song as well. I'll go through the credits, we'll see if there's anything else there, and uh, then we'll wrap this reaction up. Alright guys, well that was my reaction to The Bodyguard. Oh, so much to take in there, man. Like... I'm just expecting this regular run-of-the-mill romantic movie, a little bit of odd couple, you know, secret service person, uh, you know, gets hired to be a bodyguard for a pop star, and, you know, they have a little clash, uh, you know, and then they blossom into a romance, but so much more happened. I'm expecting this, you know, run-of-the-mill plot that I've seen a million times, and it's like, I'm like blown away by how much they actually fit in there. You know, this really complex plot of a stalker, and, you know, they, they even have the red herring stalker. The stalker that you, that you think it is, so so you won't expect anyone else, and then it's like, like, how do they do that, man? I've heard so many people pan this movie, like, like, I've heard people say if it wasn't for I Will Always Love You that people wouldn't even know what this movie is. I, I can understand why it's not a huge Oscar bait movie or anything like that, like, it's a, like, it's a drama, it's even got some action in it, like, so I can kind of see why people don't think it's the greatest movie in the world. It's probably not the greatest movie in the world. It might not be the greatest movie I've seen this year. It probably wasn't the greatest movie of 1992. But I don't understand why it got panned so much. Like, the writing was very, very good. And, you know, the story, they fit so much into it. Like, the first the first hour, it's kind of going as expected. You know, the, the clashing and then, 
you know, they kind of hook up for a bit, and then, then you have the, you know, I'm sorry, I'm your bodyguard, I can't do this. And then they fight for a little bit, you know, they're, you know, everything's tense for a while. And then she kind of realizes, hey, I need a bodyguard. Like, like all the stuff about they hid everything from her at first, so she's like, like, why is this guy even here? And then she finds out the truth about everything, and yeah, it's, she realizes she does need him. Even when the personal relationship and the professional relationships kind of crumble a little bit in the middle, she realizes that, you know, she needs him. She definitely needs that protection. She needs that, you know, as much as she doesn't want to admit it, she needs, she needs Frank in her life. Like, and you know, she's, she's had security before, but Frank is ha having the experience that he has, and especially uh, that, that fear of losing everything that he has, like, like he's talked about how uh, the day of his mother's funeral was the day Reagan was shot, and, and he was away that day, and he's always kind of regretted that. I mean, we're talking about his mother's funeral, like, people don't miss their mother's funeral for anything. You know, he's sad the president got shot when he was off duty. I mean, I, I can understand why he's sad about that, but it's not his fault. Like, he couldn't have known what would have happened that day. Like, even if he missed it for, like, a trip to Aruba, like, you can't predict that kind of thing. So they establish that it's something that he's been kind of beating himself up over his whole life, and it's why he doesn't want to have any more failed missions. Like, even when he's mad at her, like, he still wants to protect her. But yeah. So they go up to the cottage, you know, they bring his family, they bring her family, uh... You know, they all kind of spend all this time together and, you know, they ha have a little bit of fun for a few days and and then uh, Fletcher kind of takes the boat out for a spin and and uh, Frank kind of has to save Fletcher from that. And, uh, you know, he, she gets mad at him again at first for for uh, pushing him into the water because he can't swim. But and then the boat blows up and it's like, yeah, he kind of needed that. The guy breaks in, shoots Nikki and you know, everything just kind of gets real after that, like. And you would think with her Oscar appearance, like, shortly after that happens, you'd think, you know, you'd think they would clue in that, you know, she's in danger, she needs this extra security, and you know, the Oscar people wouldn't mess with the guy. Like, you know, making him take off his radio, and, you know, I can understand that the radio might be interfering with uh, the broadcast signals or whatever, but, like, forget the whole performer thing for a minute. This is a woman whose sister just got shot, she was in the house as well, and you're denying this woman extra security. If, th if that happened in real life, like... Oscars would be canceled. It's it's crazy to even think about something like that happening in real life. Like Chris Rock gets slapped on stage. That's nothing compared to this. It'd probably cancel the Oscars for like five years if something like that happened. And, you know, they finally find out who it is. It's his former partner Portman. Uh, you know, he's looking around for the guy, and it turns out he's kind of faking. He faked that he was there to protect. Uh, you know, the actor that was there to present with her, and uh, then he talks to the actor, and he says, you know, never heard of this Portman guy. So clues in that Portman is the guy, and, you know, he's there holding a fake camera that has the, you know, the red light on it, and the movie gets its happy ending. Of course, it doesn't bring her sister back. It doesn't, it kind of, it kind of eases the tension and eases the danger, I guess. And then we get our little playoff with I Will Always Love You, and and movie wraps up into a neat little bow. Like, like I said, I can understand why people don't consider it to be one of the best movies in the world. Like, it probably got carried a lot by the song. They did a great job of the movie. It was a, it was a well-written movie. Cur I'm actually curious. I got curious as I was watching, uh, and I'm going to look this up right now. Whitney wasn't in a lot of movies. Like, I mentioned she was in Preacher's Wife. She was in, uh, what's the other one, Waiting to Exhale. I don't think she was ever actually nominated for an Oscar in real life, was she? I'm, she's won tons of Grammys and stuff, but yeah, I don't think she was. Yeah. Maybe the role of the Oscar-nominated actress was a little bit of wishful thinking for her, and I Have Nothing was actually an Oscar-nominated song, but it did not win. I'm sure uh, Whitney lived out a few fantasies through this movie as well. Uh, you know, she did a lot with her life, uh, her very short life, her tragically short life, but uh, I'm sure she would have loved to do a little more. Unfortunately, some of the demons took over, and uh, kind of kind of makes me sad to think about that, but uh, Whitney did have a very talent-filled life nonetheless. Um, it was just too short a life. On that note, though, I'm very happy with The Bodyguard, and uh, if, if you're watching this reaction too, I'm sure it's a movie that you guys uh, have a connection to as well. Uh, I'm very glad I watched this. Like, I wasn't even thinking about it like two weeks ago. Like, it's just a, a mo it's just a movie I was kind of scrolling through Crave, and you know, and I was thinking, you know what? I've never seen The Bodyguard. You know, I've heard the music from The Bodyguard. I've never actually sat down and watched the movie. I guess that's really all I have to say. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into my reaction to The Bodyguard. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my sports vlogging channel, Jordan Vision Sports. And until next time, this is Jordan saying you can be productive sitting at home on your couch. All you need is a TV, a great catalog, and a vision. This has been Jordan's Vision. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Hope you enjoyed watching The Bodyguard with me. Take care. 